Quincy taking on the number one seeded Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Hope you're around to watch that stirring performance. A career best by Junior Burrow, a senior center for Virginia as they advance. But uh, Virginia is in tomorrow's semifinals, and they await today's winner on the bracket schedule. It's Wake and Duke. Then uh, in the nightcap, it's Clemson, Carolina, Florida State, and Maryland. What a stirring performance, as I said. We've got another pretty good matchup at center. Duncan going against Cherokee Parks here to talk about it in the upcoming game. Once again, Tim Brant and Billy Packer. All right, Paul, thank you very much. Welcome back to courtside. You know, it was 1962 when Wake Forest won the ACC championship. They come in today as the number one seed. Of course, back then it was Billy Packer and Lenny Chappell. Now it's Randolph Childress and Tim Duncan. Yeah, kind of interesting, Tim. Wake Forest in 1962 was supposed, supposed to play Duke University for that final. It never worked out quite that way. But here you have two of the conference's best, both uh, made off uh, conference first team. Inside and outside combination, great to have. And not many people in the country have a, any better situation than Wake Forest. And that's why they are where they are. Wake Forest, the number one seed. They finished with a 21-5 record. Number seven in the country. We'll talk about Duke when we come back. Continental Airlines Bake Sale. With great low fares to sunny destinations throughout the Caribbean, Mexico, and Florida. And with grand destinations, you can get a complete vacation package for one low price. So thawing out has never been easier. Smack dab in the middle of Tennessee is a city that strikes a chord in people the world over. But the flip side of Nashville is that it's also a major financial center because it's served by Nations Bank. Enabling Opryland USA to work in concert with the nation's largest treasury management group, giving the Williams smarter ways to pay for college, and providing the kind of performance that satisfies even the toughest customers in Nashville and in 1,900 other communities throughout our nation. First I figured I'd forgotten where I'd parked. And then I know. I called my husband, the police, and Ken, my nationwide insurance agent. Lily was upset. You don't get your car stolen every day. Two days later, my car showed up. Broken windows, scratches, I mean, nothing major. It wasn't a pretty sight, but the check sure was. Ken got it to me the next day. Helping someone, it's a good feeling. That's why I'm a nationwide agent. Nationwide is on your side. Funny thing about March Madness, as more teams drop out, more friends drop in. Fewer teams, more friends. Good thing Pizza Hut has the March Madness meal deal. Buy any large, regular price pizza, and we'll throw in a dozen free buffalo wings plus a free NCAA tournament guidebook. Because by the time only two teams are left, you're going to have a lot of friends. The March Madness meal deal. Welcome back to the Greensboro Coliseum, getting ready for Wake Forest and Duke. You know, the tournament has a different feel this year because two of the most outstanding coaches, I guess, in the conference, certainly Gary Williams and, and Mike Krzyzewski, two guys that are missed, they're not here. Coach K did meet with the media on Monday and then addressed his team on Tuesday, Billy. Well, it's good to see him uh, be able to step back up on a podium right here, and certainly we're all happy to see that Mike will be back uh, full blast next year. Here's a look at Tommy Amaker. There are rumors that he may be headed out west to uh, coach at USC. And there's Mike Bray in the middle. And Pete Gaudet who took over for Mike when he took his leave. Duke coming off a win last night. Trying to make it two in a row here today. We'll be back after this message from Budweiser. Bud. 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 Wines, bud, er, bud, wines, bud, er, wines, bud, bud, wines, er, bud, wines, er, bud, wines, er, bud, wines, er. There are no prizes for giving someone a reason to smile. No ticker tape parades for unlocking life's little mysteries. But to the men who give their best every day, we offer our best. Gillette Sensor XL. Spring-mounted blades and microfins to set up your beard. And Gillette Series Aftershave Conditioner for extra comfort. 
makes Sensor XL the world's best shave. And sometimes that's its own reward. Gillette, the best a man can get. I've got one chance a season to make this course look beautiful. You burn your lawn, your neighbors see it. I burn this, millions see it. You want to take chances? Go ahead. Me, I use Scott's. Turf Builder has Scott's mistake-proof granules. They feed when the grass needs it. No over- or under-feeding like you can get with ordinary fertilizers. It's not like golf. You can't make it up on the next hole. You don't want to blow it? Use Scott's. Mistake-proof granules. That's the Scott's difference. It's happening. Only the people who invented America's best-selling minivans could have a sale like this. The Chrysler Plymouth National Minivan Sale is here. Get $1,000 cash back on Plymouth Voyager, Roomier Grand Voyager, and Chrysler Town & Country. Chrysler minivan owners get an extra $500 back. Add that to option package values and get up to $2,600 off. But it won't last long. The Chrysler Plymouth National Minivan Sale. Only at the minivan store at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Duke with an 83 to 70 win over NC State last night comes in with a record of 13 and 17. The ninth seed starting lineup Ricky Price of freshman Parks has been an Iron Man inside Meek, Jeff Capel and Trajan Langdon. For Wake Forest it'll be Banks Parole, the big guy inside who has gotten everybody's attention, Tim Duncan. Jerry Braswell they said is unaffected by his surroundings and Randolph Childress. Here's a look at Dave Odom in his sixth year. Wake Forest 21 and 5, the number one seed in this tournament. We'll have the opening tip right after this as Pete Gaudet prepares. Television of the future? I've got it now. Direct TV. It's movies, hit movies, tons of movies. It's like browsing in a video store right in your living room and always finding what you want. Ooh. The hit movies I want start every 30 minutes. Now, for just $2.99 each, the movies come to me. All digital, so I can get a great picture with CD sound. That never happened before. For more movies, sports, and cable networks, get your DSS 18-inch dish and direct TV at your RCA dealer. It's March Magic at your Mercury dealer, and we're making cars disappear with great deals. Like the all-new Mercury Mystique, one of car and driver's 10 best cars. And even with all this, Mystique's still over 1500 less than a Nissan Altima or Honda Accord. But you better hurry. At this price, Mercury Mystiques are disappearing fast. See your Mercury dealer by April 3rd and say... Look, it's a gold card. Sure, no card on the planet is more useful, but it can't grant you inner peace. Well, I don't know. I mean, you could use it to go someplace where your only action would be one of non-action, which is pretty peaceful. And if you let Master Guest arrange your vacation, you'd save 20 to 40 percent, plus another 100 bucks if you book by April 30th. And saving money might be the path of true wisdom. So I guess a gold MasterCard could help you see the light. Just remember to wear your sunscreen. Gold MasterCard, it's more than a gold card. It's smart money. Look for your gold MasterCard application and apply. Imagine a rent-a-car company that will pick you up right at your door. That's Enterprise. Call us. We'll arrange to come to you. Take you back to our office, and you're on your way. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Lewis said some older boys took him to the hoop. So I took him to the finish line. Get there first. Let's take a look at our game file. What happened in the regular season games between Duke and Wake in game one at Wake? The Blue Devils shot only 32%. Cherokee Parks just 14%. They lost by 10. In game two, Randolph Childress made it two wins with a game-winning shot at Durham, the 12-footer. Wake sweeps the series with a one-point win, 2-0 and oh, against Duke this year. As you look at the tournament series record, let me tell you that Duke is 20 and 10 in ACC tournament games played in the Greensboro Coliseum, including four ACC titles in this building. Don't count them out just because they're the ninth seed here in the ACC tournament this year. Well, Tim, if they were to go from ninth seed even to get by this game to be the first time in history, there's only been one time in the history of the tournament that the eighth seeded team has ever beaten number one. That goes way back to a, a big victory by Maryland against NC State. Wake Forest needed a big win last weekend and then hoped that Virginia could beat Maryland. It all happened 
Dave Odom said, just take care of business and good things will happen. He's saying that again in this tournament. Well, Wake Forest in a situation where if they were to go through and win this championship, you might even think about them sneaking into a number one seed. You know, that committee may be sitting there and saying, whatever team wins the ACC championship, if it's one of those four that tied for it, gets an eight, a, a, a number one seed as opposed to picking a given school. We're underway, the second quarterfinal game of the day. Virginia has already advanced with a win over Georgia Tech. And there it is, Scooter Banks against Cherokee Parks. Duncan on Meek. Banks has really done a fine job against Cherokee so far this year. Man-to-man -man defense for Wake. Here's Price. His shot is good. Great explosive first step. You know, everybody talks about the things that hampered Duke this year. Mike Krzyzewski, of course, the number one story. But that angle in, ankle injury to Price in December really set this team back because he was coming on then. Duncan from outside pulls the string a little bit. Parks with a rebound. Remember now, Duke got off to a quick start last night. Here's Price again. Blue Devils ran off the first 10 points last night and carried them to that 83-70 win over NC State. Braswell. You're in a key if you're playing a team like Duke that has to still be a little bit unsure of themselves. You need to put them away early, and I'm sure that's what Dave Odom is thinking over there on the bench for Wake Forest. The more they play, the more confidence they're going to gain. Nice pass from Langdon to Meek. Just like last night, they gained in that confidence early, Tim. 4-0 Blue Devils just underway. Tim Brant and Billy Packer with you at the Greensboro Coliseum. And remember, it was Randolph Childress's shot that hit Duke at the buzzer in the game in Durham. So it's not like Duke uh, hasn't proven they can play these fellas. Inside to Duncan with the turnaround. Parks with another rebound. Soft shot by Duncan. You can't give him that kind of position any more than you could Junior Burrow in the Nice game. pass to Langdon. Sensational pass. Cable with a no look. Six nothing Blue Devils. Cherokee Parks already with three rebounds in this game. Here's Parole. Straight man to man. Parks going to give Banks the outside shot. Parole's got about three, four inches on Langdon in his spot. Maybe more than that. Maybe five inches. Childress working against the freshman Price. Great hands. Shot clock expires. Duke is playing great defense. Tim, you know, when you think about this Duke team, double overtime loss to Virginia, double overtime loss to North Carolina, at the buzzer losses to Wake Forest and Maryland, it's amazing to think the difference between what could have been and what eventually became. Billy, a lot of people forget Duke was ranked eighth in the country November 21st, 9-2 in December. Of course, then Mike took a leave. They've had a, a free fall. It was a lack of confidence. Here's Cable off balance, and Meek with the follow. Eight nothing. Excellent foul by Meek, and he beat Tim Duncan for that. Price's quickness on, on Randolph Childress. Childress draws the foul. He is so good at that, so talented. They retired his jersey, number 22, down at Winston-Salem last weekend. Well, you see Randolph there using that smarts that he has to, to go ahead and draw the foul and not worry about getting the clean shot. There Meeks comes right back. Meek comes right back in. Very seldom you see Tim Duncan pushed out from underneath the basket. Randolph Childress, 82% free throw shooter. Tickles the twine on the first one. Randolph, 82, but that is his 28th straight. 82 of his last 89. And he rolled that one in. Let's keep that statistic. That's special. 29 free throws in a row. And it's 8-2 to two Duke. And that's 83 of his last 91 free throws. Chief gets fouled. Duke playing a very smart ball game here so far, Tim. Hitting the ball inside. They don't look flustered at all. Wake Forest, a team that does not put a lot of defensive pressure on full court or even half court. They like to play close to the best on the inside. They've only given up 
50% or better shooting three times all year, but Duke's getting good looks so far in this game. Parks makes the first one. That's the first personal of Tim Duncan. Here's a look at Mike Bray, Pete Gaudet, Tommy Amaker. Cherokee Parks made over 100 free throws this year. Also stepped outside, showed his versatility from the perimeter. And here's Price with his quickness. Interesting matchup on Randolph Childress. Kicks it out to Scooter Banks. Park stays off it. He put his body against Duncan down in there. This will be Duke basketball. They are playing well defensively, Billy. They really are. They're giving Banks the outside shot. They're playing right behind Duncan. Price's quickness is going up against uh, Childress. So this is a different look that Duke is uh, putting on uh, Wake Forest right now, particularly that Price matchup. 10-2, Blue Devils. Very patient on offense as well. Langdon gets it back, shot clock at 15. Langdon a better jump shooter than he is a penetrator, so he needs to get rid of the ball. Picked up his dribble, though. That's dangerous to do against Childress. Shot clock at five. They've got to move. Meek at the ball oh, oh, and gets it blocked. That is a shot clock violation because the shot never got up there. Exactly. And so it'll be Wake Forest basketball. How about this start, folks? 15.45 to go in the first half. It's Duke 10, Wake Forest 2. We'll be back after this message from Budweiser. In Southwest, once a day you feel a soul-shaking sense of awe, and there's another feeling you get when the sun disappears. You're scared out of your ever-loving mind. Or maybe that's what inspired La Quinta to make their inn so friendly. Outside, they're lit up against the night sky, and inside, a soft splash is about the only sound you'll hear. Shh. La Quinta Inns. Why aren't you here? No matter where you happen to live, you're going to want to take advantage of True Value's lowest prices of the season sale, where you'll find great savings on all sorts of items for around the house. Because, let's face it, no matter where you live, odds are you're not made out of money. True Value's lowest prices of the season sale, now through Sunday. True Value. Help is just around the corner. Okay, I'm out on the road talking to uh, cars about BP Super 93. You use BP 93 Super. BP 93 Super. Super. When you put it in me, yeah, right. I run smooth. But yeah. when you use that other stuff, yeah. boom, 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 boom. I run better. Uh-huh. I run better. I run a lot better. If you're running clean and burning clean, you're going to last longer than if you're not. Just like the arteries in a person. Good analogy. Well, there you have it. Nine out of ten cars, when asked, recommend BP Super 93. BP on the move. Toughest ticket to get in the country, I'll tell you that. Good luck. One game's been played well into the second. He's still looking for a ticket. A lot of basketball yet to play. Look at this. Career blocks for Demon Duncan. And only in his sophomore season. Anthony Ticci, of course, played four. It's only 18 years of age. Be 19 in April. It's hard to comprehend a guy he being that skilled, that young. Had a great year. Childress gets caught in the air. Here's Rutland. Corral and Duncan fighting each other off, and it helps Duke. Price loses it, but I'll tell you, that's great hustle by the Blue Devils. Wake Forest 0 for 4 from the field. And Tim, again, we talk about confidence builders. The longer Duke stays in the game, the more confident they're going to become, and the harder it's going to be to put them away. Nice little move coming out with the trap. Tony Rutland, talented young player in the game now. Here's Randolph Childress. 
This will be called against Meek. Tried, he got caught behind Duncan, tried to fight his way around. Does not really have the foot speed or quickness to get out there, and you can see Duncan held him off. He's had a little bit of foul trouble throughout the year, but I'll tell you this, he's an outstanding defensive player. Had a terrific game against Maryland's Joe Smith. Held Joe to six points. Rusty LaRue checks in, Peral goes out. Smaller lineup now for Wake Forest. And I think what's uh, going on right now, you see Duke with a big lead in the paint. Peral was uh, in a situation where he was fighting Duncan, so now it's gonna be Scooter Banks in Cherokee Parks gives Wake an advantage in quickness. Banks working against Parks to Duncan. Oh, nice jump. He does that as well as anybody. Great extension to finger roll, and it's 10 to 4, Duke. It's an interesting move by Dave Odom now to go to the small team. More quickness out there. Changes the matchups. Good ball rotation down to Parks. He knew Duncan was there coming from the weak side. Great play by Cherokee Parks. Used the rim to keep Duncan away from him. Nice move by Childers, but then passes it away. That's the turnover number two. Billy had him with the first step, then overpassed. He really did. I thought that uh, Randolph had a chance for a shot. Great interior passing. Duke looks very sure of themselves out here, Tim. I think they got a lot of confidence with that win over NC State. This will be called on Price. Again, he's got that great first step with the crossover. Well, we saw two guards in the first game, Travis Best and Harold Dean with the great crossover dribbles, keeping the ball low to the floor. Randolph has that same skill. Ricky Price will go out of the ball game for Duke. He has two personals. Let's and see. We'll get our first look at Chris Collins. Yeah, Chris Collins in. Langdon goes over to go ahead and uh, match up on Childress. Now, I thought Price did a tremendous job really setting the stage for Duke defense there early. And I think that the Scooter Banks has a cut. If he's, he does, he'll, he'll have to he's leave. He's going to have to come out. That'll mean Peral will come back in, and immediately Travis goes down to see the trainer. Get that covered up, patched up. Now that's April has a cut, too. Lenny Wirtz checks that one. Our officials today, Lenny Wirtz, Donnie Gray, and Mike Wood for this game. Well, they both went down on that sideline, and that's probably where they picked it up with a little floor burn. 14.07 to play in the first half. 12-4 Duke. Park slaps it away. Childress gets it back. This is from beyond the arc. Not good shots at the part of Wake Forest. No. Force of things. Nothing easy in the offense. Really, that's four rebounds already for Parks. And this foul will be called against Duncan. That'll be... City. And that's... Serious trouble, because what Duke is doing, they're playing that high-low game. And they're putting Meek down inside. And he has got that wide body and so far uh, picked up two fouls. Billy, how many times in the last couple of weeks of the regular season did you hear people say, boy, I wouldn't want to play Duke in that first round. And then last night, Dave Odom had to be just squirming watching that game against NC State. Well, he's not getting good offensive production out of his team right now. They haven't taken good shots. Look a little out of sync. 13.43 to go, first half, 12-4 Duke. And one thing Dave Odom knew, that Duke would not roll over and play dead for him in this game just because they were the ninth seed. Dave Odom, ACC Coach of the Year, two of the last four seasons. Pass to Meek, buckets good and one. There's the high-low. The two senior centers given Wake Forest fit so far in this ballgame. Foul is on Ricardo Peral. You can see Peral waits too long. Cherokee Parks makes the beautiful feed, knowing Duncan's coming over, and the power of Meek gets it in there. And Wake Forest going to go back to the big team again. For Duke, Capel and Langdon go out of the game. We'll get our first look. Wojcikowski and Wojo checks in. Well, Wojo will probably be matched up on Randolph Children's. Collins, Collins will go out on LaRue. And Ricky Price checks back in. Meek at the line. He's a 57% free throw shooter. He struggled at the line this year. Makes that one. Converts the three-point play. He's got seven. There you can see Wojo will be on Randolph Childress. He can stay low to the ground. Powerful young man. From Baltimore, Maryland, player of the year in that state. Oh, 
Duke really talking on defense, trying to help each other out. Here's Childers, frees up. A oh, great hand, followed by Duncan. Tremendous hands by Duncan. Catches it with the left and then softly back up. Randolph Childers trying to go ahead and be a little bit more aggressive than he normally is in the first half, realizing his team's down. Duke by nine. Eric Meek came across. Cherokee should have waited for him there because he had Duncan on his back. You'd like to pick up that third foul on Duncan if you're Duke. Price on the baseline, and Peral picks up his second within the last minute. Now, Wake Forest swept Duke in the regular season. First game by 10, the second game by 1. Wojo goes out, Meek gets his first breather. Wallace comes into the game. Now, Wallace really had a major contribution last night. Came off the bench to spark Duke with seven points. Three for three in ten minutes. So there you can see five, seven, eight, or nine seed with zero titles. I've got a question at one, that number five. I think number five, I think Duke was number five in 1960 and won the ACC championship. Now, Tim, they have to go back. I, I hate to go against our guys. Billy, if it's on I'm, the screen, don't question it. I'm, I'm questioning the screen. <laughs> I think Duke came from a fifth seed. Uh-oh, they were a number four seed we hear from the truck. Yeah, see, they're calling you out well, now. At least I brought it to their attention. I want to keep make sure they're sharp. Ricky Price makes it a 17-6 ball game for Duke. Blue Devils out to a quick start. There's Duncan in too low to be stopped. Banks it in, and I mean right over Cherokee Parks, who winces and said, I don't believe it. Right, went back to his left. So talented. Duncan has six points. And Wallace, an incredible leaper, very quick. Didn't get much playing time until the other night. Kind of interesting, the uncertainty of Duke's lineup this year. Here's Wallace. How about this guy off the bench? Harvey Wallace, the sophomore from Delaware. Came off the bench to spark him last night. Seven points, five rebounds in ten minutes against State. Duncan will take it for three. Oh, good hands by Banks. Here's Childress from beyond the arc. And that is good for three. Important shot for Wake Forest. You know, Wallace, I said he hadn't played much. Well, he's played 3.9 minutes a game. I mean, you're talking about uh, not even getting a smell. Billy, he was three for three last night. Also blocked his shot. He's one for one today from beyond the arc. Here's Wojo. Uh, from way outside. You know, he was three for three. He actually was four for four. I thought the referee took away that tapping that he made. I really thought it was a good play in his part. Here's the long pass to Childress, and he loses the dribble. You know what happened right off there? He knew Wojo was coming behind him and lost concentration. How about it, folks? 23 to 11, Duke. We'll be back after this message from Park West Auto Parts. First day, my new boss throws me the keys. Get it fixed, kid. So I took it to Charlie. Guy's a real pro. Let's get the parts. Charlie says to be the best, you gotta use the best. All CarQuest parts are guaranteed, and there are more than 3,000 CarQuest stores with every part you can think of. Relax, it's done. Did you get the car fixed, kid? Um, yes, sir. Where'd you get the parts? CarQuest? Welcome to the pros, kid. When you're working hard, you can be in all kinds of things. Power, BC Power. The same BC that stops headache pain, stops all kinds of pain. BC Power is the power, power, BC. When you're in a world of hurt, nothing stops pain faster than BC. The power of BC. for the most significant vehicle in the market. We weigh technological advancement, value, and performance. Introducing Chrysler Cirrus, Motor Trends Car of the Year. Chrysler Cirrus, it's not just a step above, it's the new plateau. 
is full of memories and milestones. Make yours last forever with the 1996 Centennial Olympic Park Brick Program. You'll also support our Olympic team and help build a commemorative park where the world will gather in 1996. Call 1-800-496-BRICK or stop by Home Depot and make your life's memories and milestones last forever. Three to eleven, Duke. Eleven to one to go in the first half. Still very early, but Duke out to a quick start. Confidence continues to grow as you look at Carmen Wallace. What he did last night. He's one for one here this afternoon. And Tim Duke eight for twelve in the field goals. And as I said, only three teams all year have shot over fifty percent against Wake, against Wake Forest in a ball game. Eight for twelve, up at seventy-five percent range. Nice pass to Meek. Oh, boy. Billy, you've got to like not only the performance of Meek inside, but Ricky Price, who was spectacular before he got hurt, really struggled when he came back, but starting to get back with the game again. And Dave Odom all over Tim Duncan on that one, saying, what in the world are you doing as far as defensive position? You don't see anybody tear up Duncan the way Duke has so far today. Duke is 9 of 13 from the field. Wake Forest is 4 of 12, and they turn it over again. That's four turnovers for the Deacons. Here you see Tim Duncan out of position. Meek holds him off. Just a little roll to the inside. You talk about picking up confidence. And Price, not only with the pass, but led him to the inside where only Meek could get it. Wake Forest has a lot of work to do, and Duke is playing nice, heady basketball. Parks. Oh, great hands by Banks to knock it away. That was a big steal there because Parks in a position to have nothing less than maybe two free throws. Running one-hander by Randolph is good. He has seven points. One of the real top competitors that have been in this league in quite a while. He's realizing now, as I said before, no waiting for the second half. He's got to get his team back in the ballgame. Price to Meek to Parks. And the roll. Everything going Duke's way now. 27 to 13, the number nine seed leading the number one seed. How about Randolph Childress, though? Now he's saying, I'm going to take this team, put them on my back, and carry them through. This is on Ricky Price, Billy. That is his third. And Randolph Childress normally scores two thirds of his points in the second half because he kind of lets the game come to him, gets everybody else involved in the offense, but he can't wait much longer. Reminder to coming up at halftime, stay tuned for the Continental Airlines Fast Takes Contest, and it is brought to you by Continental, the official airline of the Atlantic Coast Conference. And they've taken Price off and put Langdon on him because Price is uh, three fouls. Crossover, paint, dish. And Parks with another rebound. He kept alive. Great job by Eric Meek. Duke being very patient in offense. Langdon for two. 29 to 13, Duke. Now, Wake Forest likes to play the game very close to the best. They're not a team that comes out and presses people. So with getting way behind like this is really something that's difficult for their style of play. Parks with his sixth rebound ahead to Meek. Crowd wanted a call against Duncan. Good block, no call. It'll be Blue Devils ball. And that was a good job by Meek to put that up. You know, we talked about Tim Duncan getting those two quick fouls. Okay, be ready, boy. No, that's a good point, Billy. Go ahead yeah, and challenge sure, him. Sure, challenge him. Taper with the left hand falling back. Dave Odom beside himself. You know, he's looking at his bench. He's calling a timeout. He's got to bring his club back together. They're getting a licking up to this point. This place is rocking. 31 to 13 Duke. We'll be back after this message from Budweiser. Bud. Bud. Fines. Bud. Bud. Fines. Bud. Err. Bud. Fines. Bud. Err. Fines. Bud. Bud. Fines. Err. There are 
are no blue ribbons for doing the little things. No tributes for just keeping your sense of humor. But the men who give their best every day deserve our best. Gillette Series Shaving Gel with advanced lubricants for incredible smoothness. Sensor Excel with micro fins. And Gillette Aftershave Conditioner for extra comfort. Together, Gillette's best shave. And sometimes that's its own reward. Gillette, the best a man can get. Today's the day to get a Toyota Camry with special 2.9% financing when you buy and get $500 cash back or lease Camry just $239 a month. Gets you automatic transmission, dual airbags, air conditioning, AM FM cassette, power steering, power windows and locks and more. See your Toyota dealer now and save during the Today's the Day Spring Sales Event. Greensboro Coliseum and ACC Basketball has been brought to you in part by Toyota. Cherokee Parks looking, capable of moving without the ball on the out-of-bounds play, puts it back up with the left hand. Came in as a freshman with that ability to shoot the jumper either with the right or the left hand. Black Sox that was a fashion statement. Well, Black Sox have become a thing of style, especially I know all of the Maryland players now wearing them. And there you see Duke coming out with a 2-3 zone, changing things up. Just when they figure that uh, Dave Odom probably want to change some things around, they give him a different defense to look at. Randall, the first three of the game for him. He's been about the only answer so far for Wake Forest. He has 10 points. Wake Forest now two of nine from beyond the arc. Dave Odom over there screaming at his guys on the bench. Penetration by Price and the rebound by Duncan. Dave Odom doing the right thing as a coach. You've got to motivate your ball club because they came out cold. Rusty LaRue from beyond the arc. It's a 6 nothing run by the Demon Deacons. Terrific job by Dave Odom right there, Tim. You know what? You can sit back, let your team just go away. He's exhorting them on on the sidelines as hard as any time I've ever seen him. He's led the Deeks to the NCAA's four straight years. Coach of the year, two of the last four. Right now, Wake is on a tear. Now's the time to get the ball to Duncan down on the inside. Childress for three more. It's a 9 nothing deep run since the timeout. Great piece of coaching by Dave Odom. 31 to 22, Duke. Not a bad job by Randolph Childress either. Boy, how about the way that they have changed their attitude in just a matter of minutes. I think Dave Odom changed it. Rusty LaRue. Duncan's the man. Drop step and bucket. And there's a good move by the counterpart from Duke. Hey, a new ball club is being the playing against them. They call the timeout, try to regroup. 11-0 run by the Deeks. Pete Gaudet calls timeout for Duke. I told you everything you know about TV is about to change because now there's direct TV, totally digital television. More movies, more sports, more of what I want than ever before. All through a tiny satellite dish about the size of a small pet. Stay. With digital quality video and CD sound, everything's gonna look great. How does direct TV work? I have no idea, but it does. Get your DSS 18 inch dish and direct TV at your RCA dealer. It's happening. Only America's hottest car company could have a sale like this. The National Chrysler Plymouth Sale is here. Get up to $1,200 off the friendly Plymouth Neon. Over $1,800 off the luxury family sedan Chrysler Concorde. And over $1,800 off the luxurious Chrysler New Yorker. Now's the time to save like never before. But it won't last long. The National Chrysler Plymouth Sale. Only at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Continental Airlines Bake Sale.
great low fares to sunny destinations throughout the Caribbean, Mexico, and Florida. And with Grand Destinations, you can get a complete vacation package for one low price. So thawing out has never been easier. Billy, let's take a look at the MCI proof positive instant replay. Well, Randolph pulls up from an NBA three-point line, bangs the three. But this game has been very interesting. Duke came out with an excellent game plan. There's the finger roll by Tim Duncan on the inside. Great game plan by Duke. Good, solid concentration. Price shutting off Randolph Childress. Wake Forest kind of falls asleep, except for that man right there. And the guy on the sidelines, Dave Odom. And he just exhorted his team on during that timeout. And they came out as a whole different ball club. 6.36 to go in the first half. 31-24 Duke. And let's see how Duke responds to their timeout. Boy, how about that scoring breakdown? Childress and Duncan doing it all. Duke has missed four in a row. See if Duke tries to get that ball to someone who Duncan's guarding to try to pick up the third foul on him. Capel, too hard, long rebound. Here comes Randolph Childress. You know how Virginia pumped the ball down inside to Burroughs? That's what Duke needs to do. Uncontested. They backed off. Well, if you want to see what kind of competitor he is, he has taken this game and turned it right around. Randolph Childress, Billy, now with 15 points. This has been a long drought for the Blue Devils. Again, I don't know why they've gotten away from the high-low. There they are again, trying to challenge Banks, who's a great leaper, with the lob. Clear out for Randolph. He's on fire. 17 points. Randolph Childress. Well, remember how Price stayed with him? He just too quick for Langdon. Price is going to come back in the game with Wojo. They've got to go if they're Duke down inside. Collins. Big three. Duke's lead at one point was 18. It's now six. Wake Forest goes a little 1-4. Looking for the lob. Not there. Oh, and Meek can't hold on to it. He loses it out of bounds. He should have just let it go. Well, there was a case where it was a set play for the lob. LaRue, who's the quarterback on the football team, as everybody knows, to Duncan. But it wasn't there. He threw it anyway. Wake Forest was fortunate. 4.55 to play in the first half. Trying to get LaRue free for a three-point shot. Oh, do you believe that? Tremendous. And you know what? He turns around, Randolph turns around and says to Wojo, you can't guard me. He shot that from one foot. He was on one foot. Well, he's going by the taller guys and shooting over the shorter ones. Here's Meek inside. Nice left-handed bank. That's smart move by Duke. Try to get that third foul on Duncan. There's another half to play. Eric Meek. Wow. Points. And look at Scooter Banks. And Childress for three more. It's one of the great performances I've seen, Tim, because his ball club was out of it. And he just put him on the back and carried him. Billy, he might have 30 in the first half. He has 23 already. Here's Meek. Boy, Meek's keeping him in there. 12 now for Eric, and it's 38-34. This block with Collins. Randolph smelled him behind him. You know what? He didn't even see him. Won't be going to the foul line here. Dave Odom has to be happy the way his team responded. This club has been uh, competitive throughout the course of the year. I think he was shocked to see him come out so, uh, so cold. Under four minutes to go in the first half now. The lead is four for Duke. Price did a pretty good job on Randolph Childress the first five minutes or so of the game. Keeps that dribble so low. Here he's fouled by Wojo. He's expending a lot of energy, but as we know, Randolph Childress is a guy that's used to playing an awful lot of minutes. Leads the league in minutes played this year. Reminder to stay tuned at halftime when Dick Vitale presents the DirecTV Dish Out the Winner Sweepstakes. That's coming your way at halftime.
Randolph played 619 of 640 total ACC minutes this year. And what Dave Odom says, he, he takes him out in practice so he doesn't have to work that hard in practice. This is for two. For Perot. Starting to become a much better complimentary player. His Some first combat. bucket. It's a two-point game, Billy. And here's where Duke has to remain patient. They're playing a good high-low game early on. See if they stay with it. Nope. Great hands by Banks. That pass was telegraphed. Cherokee Park's not getting up to down the court as quickly as he was early on. Maybe he's a little tired. Under three minutes to play in the half. Perrault oh, oh. splits the double team and Meek comes down with a rebound. Having a good first half. Cross-court pass. This is Christ left alone. Instead, penetrates. And this will be Duke basketball. Christ has got that explosive baseline drive. Watch him go by for all here. And then Tim Duncan right in there to go ahead and make the good play. Meek over the back. Yeah, look at Meek battling in there. <laughs> Last 20. time Duke got a layup on the out-of-bounds play. 20 on the shot clock for Duke. Wake goes zone on this one. Collins doesn't mind looking for that three. Langdon. That's for three. And all that they needed. He's got a beautiful shot, doesn't he? He really does. Great Super release. Stroke. Seven points for him now, and it's 41 to 36, Blue Devils. And just when you think Wake Forest ready to move into that lead, Duke comes back with some big baskets. Yeah, they really haven't panicked. Right. Childress leans in, tries to throw the foul, and he, banks it in. He's doing everything you can do. Medium range shots, long range threes, drives to the basket. Tremendous first half. 25 points for Randolph Childress. This will be called oh, is that Childress. Oh, that's Childress. I was going to say, from out under there, you wonder if it was going to be a hold on Duncan. Tremendous performance. Randolph Childress. Up from not my neighborhood, started out in Anacostia, moved out to Fort Washington, now lives in Clinton, Maryland. He's hit his last seven shots. Langdon, running one-hander, nicely done. Hey, right guard Pure Power is proud to present the ACC Player of the Year. Look for this feature prior to the second half tip-off. Everybody runs at him. Somebody has to be open. Corral for three. Two huge jump shots from the wings. Takes the pressure off Childress to have to make them all. It's a two-point game. This has been a fine first half. Both teams playing well. Duke holding their own here, even against this pressure. LaRue with the block. Shot! He's oh, on God. fire. I don't believe that. That's one of the great shows I have ever seen in an ACC tournament. They were all over that, though, Billy, defensively. That's exactly. The thing about it is, he if he doesn't do this, Duke University's got Wake Forest buried in the first half. Childress has hit his last eight shots. Here's Price off balance. Well, the freshman for Duke, Langdon and Price have been carrying his ball club. Duke won't back down. The Wake Forest, a team that likes to play in the 70s, they're on uh, a line right now for a 90-point game. This game will take a lot out of them. Here's Price on Childress. Randolph goes to his left and kicks it out to LaRue. This is for three. Duncan with the rebound. Oh, his hands are so soft. And he's fouled. Hands are so soft. And that was a great kick out by Childress. And there are those great hands by Tim Duncan. Foul is on Langdon. And with four tenths of a second to go, Tim, as hard as this is to believe, Wake Forest has a chance for, I think, what this would be their first lead, right? It will be their first lead of the game. Down by 18 at one point. 
And you know, Duncan is seventh in the ACE. I mean, everybody knows he's a leading rebounder, leading shot blocker, but he's seventh in the league in foul shooting percentage. Scouts love him, Billy. He's added 20 pounds. He's worked on his footwork. He's had a great year. You mentioned he's only 18 years of age. Won't be 19 until April 25th. Now, if you're Wake Forest, <laughs> if you're Wake Forest, you only have five team fouls. So it'd be a real good idea when you catch it in bounds to foul them. Billy, their, their hold up here is they're questioning the time left on the clock, four tenths of a second. Well, in any case, if you're Wake Forest, don't allow Duke to get off a shot. You know, foul them immediately on the inbounds pass. I believe Pete Gaudet is saying even after the whistle, they let the clock run. We're told by the truck now that uh, they want 2.7 on the clock, and it's .4 right now. Wow, that's a lot of time. <laughs> Cherokee Parks checks back in. Wallace will go out. An incredible first half. First of all, played by Duke at the outset, and then Randolph Childress on the comeback. We'll see it here. Duncan goes up, makes it, gets fouled. There's the hand up. Hand up. Yep, I think they're right. Two and a half would be about right. How it got down to four tenths, I'll never know. No, I don't know either. Well, there could be a Baptist minister over there in the clock. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you saw Mike Wood's hand go up with the foul and the whistle. And they put two on anyway. So the two seconds left. You know, I, I, I didn't mean that they would really do something like that. Okay, now if, now if you're Duncan, you make this shot, you wake Forrest, you foul on the inbounds. They only have five team fouls. So Duke would go to the line anyway. On this inbounds, it'd be good to foul the man that catches the ball. Wake's first lead of the game. See, he's nobody here to foul. Now they stop the clock again. But see, Tim, nobody's guarding Price. You don't even want him to have a long throw. Actually, I said they stopped the clock. It never moved. Braswell should get right up on Price. Foul him as soon as he touches the ball. Foul him. Not a good play. This is good if it goes. Exactly. You don't let them even have a chance. 27 points for Randolph Childress. Oh, my, what a half. Nobody's ever done it any better than that. And it was after the timeout by Dave Odom. Childress and Duncan combined for 38 of the 46 points for Wake Forest. Down by 18, the Deeks came roaring back. They lead by one at the half. Today's ACC action is brought to you by Nationwide Insurance. By Plymouth Neon. By Central Fidelity Bank. By BP Oil. And by Right Guard. While every Plymouth Neon is born to be friendly, we found a way to make them even friendlier. Get up to $600 cash back, plus up to $600 in package values, up to $1,200 off, or get interest rates as low as 4.9%. All that and dual airbags make Plymouth Neon about as friendly as it gets. Say hello to Plymouth Neon. At the preferred option sale, now at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. in the American Southwest. Once a day, you feel a soul-shaking sense of awe. And there's another feeling you get when the sun disappears. You're scared out of your ever-loving mind. Well, maybe that's what inspired La Quinta to make their inn so friendly. Outside, they're lit up against the night sky. And inside, a soft splash is about the only sound you'll hear. Shh. La Quinta Inns. Why aren't you here? They test car batteries here. They test pickup trucks here. And when they test yard machines, they go here. Dave Spivey's house. <laughs> MTD tractors, chipper shredders, lawn mowers, and edgers tackle the toughest jobs. Look for MTD yard machines at retailers near you. MTD. Wow! I like it! MTD yard machines, American-made, American-owned. Just a short trot from the Blue Ridge Mountains is a place that could send anyone's heart racing. 
But Charlottesville, Virginia is also a major financial center because it's served by Nations Bank, which gives Yancey Lumber the resources it needs to keep building its business, that's the Craddocks rely on the nation's number one bank for auto loans, and helps people at all stages of life rise above any financial hurdle in Charlottesville and in 1,900 other communities throughout our nation. Considering what your business has to figure... 25, 5, 4, 30. How much time we got left? You may not have figured that if your business uses AT&T, you're probably on the wrong calling plan. Over half of AT&T's customers are, which is why hundreds of thousands of businesses are trading in AT&T and investing in proof. MCI will analyze your AT&T bill and give you proof positive, written proof of how much your business can save by switching to MCI, proving, once again, the only savings that are true are the ones you can see. Now it's time for this MCI Proof Positive Instant Replay. North Carolina Duke, first overtime. UNC misses the game-winning free throw. Jeff Capel launches a long three that drew nothing but net, sending Cameron Indoor Stadium into a frenzy and the game into double overtime. The replay is proof positive that Capel's shot will go down as one of the greatest shots in one of the best games in ACC history. And that's our MCI Proof Positive Instant Replay. Want to take off with Continental on a round trip for two to your choice of over 65 exciting destinations in the U.S.? Better yet, how about winning free flights for two every month for the next six months? And how about a two-night hotel stay each time? Keep watching because Continental Airlines, the official airline of the ACC, is about to give you a shot right now. Your job is to guess the ACC player in our Continental Airlines Fast Takes Contest. This former NC State center is one of only three players to be named tournament MVP twice. He scored 38 points and grabbed 13 rebounds in the 1974 ACC championship game. Who is he? Now stay tuned. Later during this telecast, you'll see a toll-free phone number to call and a secret code to enter. If you answer correctly, your name will be entered in a drawing for one of 10 pairs of Continental round-trip tickets to any of the 65 destinations in the U.S. served by Continental. A correct entry will also be entered in our grand prize drawing in March for two free round-trip tickets on Continental Airlines every month for six months and a free two-night hotel stay each trip. Just another way Continental Airlines offers you more airline for your money. Welcome back to the Greensboro Coliseum with this crowd of 23,000 plus certainly get their money's worth on this afternoon of ACC quarterfinal action. Hello again, everybody. Paul Cameron at halftime. We saw Junior Burrow of, of Virginia score a career best 36 in the first one. Randolph Childress tried to top that. He has 27 points, five three-pointers. That's one shy of a tournament record held by Bill Henderson of Duke set in 1990. Childress has been on fire, but you know, Wake was not a Wake when the bell rang for this one as two plays out to a 31-13 lead. That was at the 8-38 mark. That's when uh, Dave Odom called a timeout. He regrouped, chewed a little tail, and Wake got on fire. Childress and company now leading by one at halftime, 46-45. Meek and Parks doing the job for the Blue Devils. And you see, Wake Forest ended the regular season in a four-way tie. That was unprecedented in league play with Carolina, Maryland, and Virginia. Georgia Tech, 8-8, eight eight, losers in the first one to the Virginia Cavaliers, who's advanced to the winner of this one tomorrow afternoon. FSU Clemson, NC State, and Duke. We will continue more from the Greensboro Coliseum after this from Bud Light. Next is Lady. Exceptional sheen. Oh, very good color. Friends. Hands. Oh, such mm. stateliness, such majesty. Larry. Larry. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. The best of show, more. Hi, may I help you? Yeah, I need some shorts to play basketball. Indoor or outdoor? Uh, outdoor. Uh, full court or half court? Half, I guess. Uh, pick up our plan. Shirts or skits? Excuse me? Uh, day or night, home or away, team or one-on-one. -on -one. Is activewear becoming too specialized for you? Try Discus Athletic, heavyweight sweats and tees. The activewear that's right for however you play. Discus Athletic, the way America plays. Horse or pig? Okay, I'm out on the road talking to uh, cars about BP Super 93.
You use BP-93 Super. BP-93 Super. When you put it in me, yeah, right. I run smooth. But yeah. when you use that other stuff, yeah. boom, 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 boom. I run better. Uh-huh. I run better. I run a lot better. If you're running clean and burning clean, you're going to last longer than if you're not, just like the arteries in a person. Good analogy. Well, there you have it. Nine out of ten cars, when asked, recommend BP Super 93. BP on the move. We were looking for the most significant vehicle in the market. We weigh technological advancement, value, and performance. Introducing Chrysler Cirrus, Motor Trend's Car of the Year. Chrysler Cirrus. It's not just a step above, it's the new plateau. Here is Terry Gannon with an important message. What's better than going out for a good time? Getting home safely, that's what. So please, don't drink and drive, and keep those good times good. Friends know when to say when. A reminder from Budweiser. Dish out the winners, presented by Direct TV. Okay, baby, let's dish out the winners. I'm going to look at my crystal ball and see what teams will be invited to the Direct TV Grade 8 Festival. Looking deep into my crystal ball, the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest with that great scorer, Randolph Childress. Now you can dish out the winners, too, by entering the Direct TV Dish Out the Winners sweepstakes. Send the postcard with the eight teams that you think might be invited to the Direct TV Grade 8 Festival, and you might win these prizes. On behalf of the ACC, I'd like to express appreciation to Exxon, their retailers and distributors, for their long-term support of ACC Outreach Program. Outreach brings deserving middle school youngsters to ACC campuses to introduce them to the college experience and to motivate them to set educational goals. Exxon has been the major supporter of this program for over four years. Our sincere thanks to Exxon for caring about America's youth. The night seeds in this tournament have seen an 18-point lead just slip away and now trail by one, 46-45. Top-seeded Wake Forest in the lead. Time now to look at our brackets. What has transpired here? And let's go back in time. Virginia advances with a 10-point win over Georgia Tech in the first one of the quarterfinal session, waiting the winner here. Clemson, Carolina to come. Florida State and Maryland in the nightcap. SEC brackets. Let's show you that. We've got a score in progress in the second half. One-point difference. Arkansas and Vandy yet to come Georgia, Bama, Kentucky, Auburn, Mississippi State, Florida. That's in Atlanta. And the Big East tournament as well. How about Georgetown? That's a final a winner over Miami. And in the first half, it's an all-time UConn and Pitt. Atlanta Coast Conference basketball on the Raycom and Jefferson Pilot Sports Network will continue after this from your local ACC stations. It's happening. Only America's hottest car company could have a sale like this. The National Chrysler Plymouth Sale is here. Get up to $1,200 off the friendly Plymouth Neon. Over $1,800 off the luxury family sedan Chrysler Concorde. And over $1,800 off the luxurious Chrysler New Yorker. Now's the time to save like never before. But it won't last long. The National Chrysler Plymouth Sale. Only at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. When you're through providing your own action for the evening, it's Blockbuster's turn. With 9,000 ways to make it a Blockbuster night. A man lies dead by his own hand, yet this boy remains silent. From the international bestseller, Susan Sarandon, Academy Award winner Tommy Lee Jones. The plot, rated PG-13 from Warner Home Video. It's weather with a view you won't get anywhere else. Brazilian Skycam weather at noon and 6 on 11 News. The weather takes off. The ACC quarterfinals tonight at 7 on 11 Alive. 
Our Advanced Auto Parts Smart Play comes from North Carolina State's 84-79 win over Duke at Reynolds Coliseum. On this play, watch the Wolfpack's Todd Fuller decide against forcing a bad shot. Instead, kicks the ball out to Lakeisha McCullough, who sets up and buries the three. A smart play because Fuller recognized that four Blue Devils were in the lane with him and found one of his teammates that was wide open for a three-point basket. And that's our Advanced Auto Parts Smart Play. Back live in Greensboro, the difference in this one so far, the three-point shooting. Randolph Childress, as I said, five trays in the first half, one shy of the ACC tournament record. He only has got five three-pointers in seven attempts. Phenomenal. Let's throw it over to Tim and Billy once again for the second half. All right, Paul, and phenomenal is an outstanding word for that. I think Dave Odom with a timeout, Billy, that was sensational. And Randolph just going on that tear. I think everybody in the arena is talking about that. Well, that's as good a first-half performance under the circumstances that I think I've ever seen in the ACC tournament. And I'd say Randolph made a lot of great plays, but the best play made, Tim, is what you just said right there. Down 18, your team going nowhere, not even interested in the game, kind of in a sleepwalk, and Dave Odom just willed them to come back out and play better, and they certainly did. See the statistics here. 18 of 30 for Duke, 18 of 34 Wake Forest. Duke had a 31 to 13 lead, then a Wake Forest tear, 33 to 14 run. Take a look at Randolph. I mean, folks, this is a spectacular first half performance. Well, he did it in every way. I mean, he went to the basket for layups. There he is pulling up for the short jumper. He hit three-point shots. I mean, he just took this team, put him on the back, and that particular shot right there, Tim, you, you uh, called it and said he was trying to draw the foul. And there's the guy right there to credit that first half with. I mean, he just said to his club, hey, let's play some basketball, and he went after him. Duke just kept plugging those. Big basket there by Langdon. Langdon is four for four in the first half. Played very well. I thought Price, particularly early in the game, played great defense on children. One point game. We'll be back after this from right guard. This week's right guard, Pure Power ACC Player of the Week and Player of the Year is Joe Smith from the University of Maryland. For the year, Smith averaged 20.9 points and grabbed more than 10 rebounds per game, hitting on 59% of his shots in the field. Joe led the Terrapins to 22 wins in the regular season, the most by Maryland since 1985. History teaches primordial perspiration shouldn't mess with one's style. Consider this powerful discovery. Right guard, pure power, clear gel. An astoundingly clear gel. Thus, it goes on clear. But when it comes to protection, one shouldn't mess around. Right guard, clear gel. Anything less would be uncivilized. Score! A trip to the 96 ACC tournament from Right Guard. Call now. Joe Smith from Maryland is our Right Guard Pure Power ACC Player of the Year. Advance Auto Parts presents part number 14, the brain. An active brain, like those found in Advance Auto Parts salespeople, is capable of analyzing any automotive problem. I can't understand why I'm losing compression. In a millisecond, the brain is working, computing options, calculating dimensions, until it comes up with the solution, allowing part number 12, the hand, to take over. Advance Auto Parts, the best part is our people. Give people quality faucets at reasonable prices, and they will come back and buy your sinks. Give people quality sinks at reasonable prices, and they'll come back and buy your bathtubs. Give people quality bathtubs at reasonable prices, and they will come back and buy your toilets. Give people quality toilets at reasonable prices, and they will come back and buy your shower doors. That's the Sterling way, and that's the American way. This is Sam Davis, Vice Chairman for Sterling. Thank you. Today's the day. The day your Toyota dealer is offering great deals on the all-new Tacoma trucks. Save up to $1,300 in options you want. This new Tacoma even comes with a 100,000-mile six-year powertrain limited warranty. 100,000 miles. Today's the day to save on a 4Runner lease, just $2.99 a month. And check out the new T100 Extra Cab. Big room, big power. So hurry in. Raycom and Jefferson Pilot Sports exclusive coverage of ACC basketball is brought to you by Bud Light, by Ford, 
by Discus Athletic, by Direct TV, by Continental Airlines, and by Food Lion. 46-45, Wake. Here's a look at the Ford game plan. Well, Tim, I think that Duke's got to go back to that high-low game, try to get uh, Duncan in foul trouble quickly. And if you're Wake Forest, continue to concentrate. They came out uh, without the concentration. Once they got it, they really played well. Tim Brant, Billy Packer with you at the Greensboro Coliseum. Tony Rutland from beyond the arc. Long rebound, and Capel comes down with it. If you're just joining us, Duke had an 18-point first-half lead. Chance. Oh, Meek took a pass that was just a bullet. And there's that high low. Duke goes to it right away, and that's what they've got to concentrate on in the second half. And a great performance, 27 points by Randolph Childress in that first half. Nice job by Meek not to go for the pump fake by Duncan. Here's Price. He's playing with three personals. Capel off balance to Meek. Back out oh, nice. to Parks. Nicely done. Really was. That's a good job that time because Meek didn't really, he, he kept his concentration on that pass. He, normally you'd look away and the ball but thrown out of bounds. Here's Banks. Tough shot. Perot with a little jump hook. Hey, he's had some big baskets, Tim. Two jumpers, remember, from the wings in the first half. That a terrific rebound inside, the kind of thing that Duncan normally does. He has seven points. Wake with its biggest lead of the game. Three points. Capel is fouled. Boy, nice little spin move to get down in the paint. Then they jumped him. Foul on Rutland. Corral had 10 points in, of course, the 62-61 game against Duke. But here he comes in with a very solid rebound. Now, he's about 6 foot 10. Good wingspan. Nice shot. From Santa Cristina High School in Spain. And, of course, had to sit out last year due to the rules and regulations about the possibility of playing a little bit professionally in Europe, but that wasn't the case, so he's now completely out. Ah. Capel gets the roll. You saw the points of the paint. Duke's still being effective inside. 48-47, 18 minutes to play. Capel with the steal. I missed the price. Oh, couldn't handle it. He knew that Duncan was behind him. You gotta make the catch before you make the play. We see it so often. That's quite a sequence here. Good job by Capel keeping alive. Price was hustling. Lost the concentration on the catch. That pass was perfect. Yep. Duncan. He hasn't hit a jumper facing yet today. Took two of them in the first half. Nice pass to me. He oh. couldn't handle that pass. That was a steal by Childress. That's five turnovers now for Duke. Game starting off the second half. Much different than the way Duke started the game. A little sloppy. This will be called on Price. Pushing Rutland out of the way. And, folks, that'll be four. Boy, that's a big, bad fall for Duke. Not a very smart foul. Nope. And here's a young man that did an excellent job guarding Randolph Childress. He's going to have to sit. And that'll probably put Langdon over on Childress. And he really has not been able to handle it. Randolph still has not taken a shot here in the second half. It's a sloppy inbounds pass by Scooter Banks. Approaching the 17-minute mark of this game. This will be called on Trace Langdon. No shot won't count, although it went in. Well, you'll be two on Langdon. You can see without the quickness that Price has, Langdon has got size and strength. But he doesn't possess those uh, explosive feet, so Randolph is using him. Folks, if you're just joining us, Virginia won the first game against Georgia Tech, 77-67 to advance to the semifinals. Junior Burrow with 36 points in that game. Here it's 48-47, Wake Forest over Duke. Randolph Childress with 27 first-half points. Oh, what hands. Last three seconds! 
This is a three-second call against Tim Duncan. And Cherokee Parks thought he was called for the foul there and couldn't believe it. That was one extra pass. What caused that three-second violation is that Duncan was getting himself prepared for a rebound opportunity. The extra pass caught him in the lane too long. Nice job by Perot. Capel in the paint, running one hander too hard. And Perot with another big rebound. He's been the man here in the second half. Nice pass inside to Duncan. Duncan not having a big game today. That normally would be two points for him. Meek doing a nice job. Langdon off balance for two. Had a foot on the line. He has 11 points. Just passed ahead to Travis Banks. He was sleeping a little bit. Good idea for execution. Duncan was just two for 11. Four points, but he did have 15 rebounds in the game in Durham this year, but he's having that kind of offensive production today as well. Getting some rebounds, but not scoring. Randolph Childress goes up to bank, says, my bad. Bad pass. Capel off balance again. Shot. Gets his own rebound. Duke by one. Corral. For Childress, that's his first miss in the last 11 shots. Randolph is everywhere. <laughs> Here he is again. Got back there to cut that pass off. What a performance by the man who had his jersey retired last week at Wake Forest. Here's Corral. Oh. And he gets the roll. Mismatch, he was working against Capel. Rawls having an excellent ball game here today. Well, you mentioned the second half. Bill, you mentioned he's 6'10", and he got matched up with Langdon, who's 6'4", Capel, rather, who's 6'4 and a half. 15-13 to play in this game. It's Wake Forest, the number one seed by a point. Went out to buy a car. Dad said good luck. Saw my new Ford Ranger and said, Son, that's a truck. My girlfriend loves the new inside. Now all she wants to do is ride. Mom sees the airbag and takes heart. Finally, her boy's getting smart. My best friend pops the hood. Look for horsepower. That's good. Well, my boss says it takes the cake. A truck with any lock brakes. Oh, yeah, my Ford Ranger's really hot stuff. Now Dad asks, Can I borrow the truck? It has the kind of beauty that never grows old, where names like Magnolia and Azalea still ring a southern bell. And while Savannah, Georgia has a place in history, it's also a major financial center because it's served by Nations Bank. So Dixie Crystals can get international financing on Bull Street. The cars can build on their investments 800 miles from Wall Street. And through Nations Bank, people can make their own financial history in Savannah and in 1,900 other communities throughout our nation. Considering what your business has to figure, how much time we got left? You may not have figured that if your business uses AT&T, you're probably on the wrong calling plan. Over half of AT&T's customers are, which is why hundreds of thousands of businesses are trading in AT&T and investing in proof. MCI will analyze your AT&T bill and give you proof positive, written proof of how much your business can save by switching to MCI, proving once again the only savings that are true are the ones you can see. Watching a suspense movie on Showtime. Watching a suspense movie on digital Showtime. Experience the power of USSB digital programming on the new digital satellite system, now at your RCA or satellite TV retailer. One-point game. We're back. Duke had an 18-point lead. It's wake by one now. Tim, another thing you have to start thinking about when it gets down about the 10-minute mark, Duke played at like 9 o'clock last night, you know, and, and a guy like Cherokee Parks played 38 minutes. Good at, reminder. You know, at 9 o'clock last night, so maybe a little fatigue is starting to get to him. Yeah, good point, Billy. Here's Meek with another big rebound. Goes strong to the hoop, and he's fouled by Randolph. You know, the second half field goal is a lot different than the first. Duke just two of seven. 
Wake Forest two for nine. Although each team has only six turnovers, it's been a well-played, clean game. Meek coming off that 16-point performance against North Carolina on Saturday. Senior who thought about sitting out this year. He's had a solid season. Averages 10 points, eight rebounds. Well, it's really got to be tough for these uh, Duke seniors. You know, the figure that along with Clemson now, they've become only the second team in ACC history to go from first to last. With a great tradition they've been part of for their three previous years. Now six above his average. But Billy, who could have ever anticipated what took place this year with Coach K and Gary Williams? I mean, it's been a strange year in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Sure has. There's Duke going to the zone for the first time today. 2-3 zone. Great follow inside by Duncan. And there are those hands again. For a young guy, he has the, the great touch on the inside with his hands, and he keeps his hands above his head at all times. Capel, boy, that was halfway down. Halfway down, came back out. It's a one-point game. Wake trying to extend that here. Randolph trying to draw the foul. Good job by Langdon. And Duke's got to get back to their half-court set. Everything's been one-on-one. -on -one. Collins in and out. They've gotten away from getting that ball down inside. The high-low post, Meek and Parks. Guys are just kind of doing their own thing. Well, you know, Collins, he's been uh, really struggling with his shot this year. Well, I, I would say that that's kind of an understatement. But he always hustles. He's very enthusiastic. I think he picks him up when they need it. He's shooting 22% from three. In a game that's one point, that's not the shot you want. Parole for three. This has been his oh, greatest game. Man. Wake with its largest lead at 55-51, and Parole has 12 points. He had 12 against Virginia in a very important contest to put Wake in this position to be the number one seed, but this is the best I've seen him play this year. Parks penetrates. He's fouled. Boy, he wanted that shot to go, too. It's kind of surprising. They're playing the high-low with Parks up top, and that puts Banks on him out on the perimeter. Banks is quicker than he is, and, and you would think that maybe that if they switch things around a little bit, let Meek play out high and let Cherokee post up down inside on Banks, they may be a little more successful. Billy, Meek goes out of the game. Wallace comes back in. He has certainly added a spark to this team the last two days, and now Rutland comes in, and Travis Banks goes out. Well, you see what Dave Odom does right away. He wants Banks to be able to be fresh, going down the stretch, so he doesn't mind going small. Even though Wallace is a great leaper, Wake Forest figures with Peral and Duncan in there, they've got the advantage in size. Billy, this crowd now, everybody's very quiet. This second half almost anticlimactic to do what took place in the first half with Duke going out to an 18-point lead and then Randolph catching fire score 27 for a one-point half. Well, Tim, another thing that's very unusual for players, and they have to understand it when they play in an ACC tournament, you've got nine schools. Only two schools have a rooting interest in a given game, so you have to create some of your own excitement. 55-53. Here's the turnaround by Duncan in and out. Pretty good defense by Parks. They're not giving Duncan any easy shots. Parks, nice pass to Wallace. Oh, how about that? Around the double team. Where has Wallace been all year? Isn't that the truth? I mean, he has really been productive in two games. Here's a foul out front. Wallace is two for two today. We told you what That's he did last five night. Five for five in the tournament. He three for three last night. Yeah. There with the good hands. He puts it right up inside, kind of fearless on the inside. And again, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to give him that other one, just for the record. That incredible tapping he made yesterday, that make him six for six in the tournament. Foul on Langdon, that's his third. Now Randolph has got one guy in the foul, in foul trouble already. Price, now he's working on Langdon. Well, you know, we're talking about Wallace shooting. He also had five rebounds and one block, so he's adding a little bit of everything. Plus, he's allowing Meek to get a good breather. Kick out to Rusty LaRue. He's a good shooter, and that's what a two play. Randolph Sugar's just using people out there now. Excellent bounce pass cross court. Jam down in the middle, kick it out. So nicely done. Two point game. Here's the Chief inside, working on Duncan. And 
Duncan did to Parks what Parks has been doing to him, and that is moving a little bit outside his shooting range for that turnaround half hook. Cherokee with just seven points. Remember, he averages 19. Childress loses it on the way up, and Duncan gets it and banks it in. I think you were right the first time, and his, everything that Randolph has, did, that has done today has been outstanding, and that one kind of got away from him and ended up being an excellent pass. Sure, he lost it on the way up. Yep. It counts as his sixth it's assist. Like, it's like a high, bad dribble, and it ended up being a perfect pass. Okay, we'll come back. Good pass, Randolph. Wallace is fouled from behind by LaRue. Well, 11-10 remaining in this ball game. The quarterfinal between Wake and Duke. It's 59-55. Wake Forest will return after this from Continental, the official airline of the ACC. Introducing Continental Airlines Bake Sale. Great low fares to sunny destinations throughout the Caribbean, Mexico, and Florida. And with grand destinations, you can get a complete vacation package for one low price. So thawing out has never been easier. Joe, our nationwide insurance agent, said it reminded him of his first house. It needed a little work. Patty and her husband got their friends together. We got the place looking great yeah, i was able to help a little i mean since they now have a homeowner's policy with nationwide i could offer them a home car discount it was a really nice little housewarming gift i'm glad joe saved his money because we still have a few little things that need to be fixed up like a nationwide is on your side imagine a rent-a-car company that will pick you up right at your door that's enterprise call us we'll arrange to come to you take you back to our office and you're on your way. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Some people spend their lives just trying to get in the race. I just spent a few bucks because I started at the finish line. Get there first. Advance Auto Parts presents part number 12, The Hand. A remarkable part of every Advance Auto Parts salesperson, the hand can grasp any automotive situation. My car goes... Instantly, the hand tests the electrical system, removes the dead battery, and, with free installation, puts in a new Autocraft battery. All you have to do is shake part number 12. Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. Wake Forest by four. Watch Randolph Childers here with his pass. Ball got away from him, as you see. <laughs> Duncan, with the great hands, puts it back in. So an assist off a high dribble that he got, that got away from him. Yeah, after 27 points in the first half, 0, 0.0 rebounds in this half, but he does have three assists. He's almost reversing himself. There's Cherokee from three. Got to follow the shot. We talk about uh, Randolph has normally been the guy that had those second halves like we saw in the first half, maybe just reversing his game a little bit here today. And he's being very patient in the second half, not trying to force anything. Offensive on Randolph Childress. Another that good play is by Wallace. Wallace. Three fouls on Childress now with 10.39 to play. That's a good play by Wallace. He held his ground. Randolph got up in the air. Nothing he could do about it. Price comes back in with his four fouls. Now Duke playing now with two freshmen. Two sophomores and a senior. Young club out there. Another child for Purdue. So tough to throw the ball on that kind of angle into your post man when he's being played by a guy like Tim Duncan. Not a good idea. That's eight turnovers. 59-55, Wake. Little pick and roll. This is for three. Yes! Randolph Childress. That's Price sign. Nice pick and roll maneuver by Wake Forest. Because you know Duncan can be uh, on the other end if they try to double-team Randolph. 
30 points for Childress now. Wake has its largest lead of the game at seven. Well, we haven't had 30 point performances in ACC tournaments since Christian Leitner, and now we've got in Brian Stith, and now we've got two in the first two games. Duncan with the block. Saved by Childress. Duncan gets it back. Now Capel gets it to Parks. How do you miss that? I think it might have slipped out of his hands. That's good hustle by Capel, though. 9.35 to play. Take another look at it. Nice move on his part. I think the ball was tipped, see, by LaRue, just as Parks was ready to release it. Good hustle by Capel, though. Both clubs expending a lot of energy, and as you mentioned, Billy, playing late last night, fatigue could become a factor for the Blue Devils. It really could, and you can see that this is Wake's kind of game now, though. You know that it's a half quarter at a time, like what took place in the first half. Wake goes 1-4. Nine and a half minutes to play. Wake with its largest lead of the game, 62-55. Rutland from beyond the arc. Again, penetration. Now they've got Corral hitting some. Rutland is a guy they'd love to get going. Duke University now finds themselves down 10. They've got to have a time. We'll be back after this from Bud Light. <gasps> Look! What is oh that? my gosh! It's a little chimp! Oh, he looks like a little person. They're really not. <laughs> Look how smart he is. They're not very intelligent, honey. They're dopey. Look at them. We have a dummy on our hood. Oh, where, where's he going? For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. And now, Valley of the Apes. History teaches primordial perspiration shouldn't mess with one's style. Consider this powerful discovery. Right guard, pure power, clear jail. An astoundingly clear jail. Thus, it goes on clear. But when it comes to protection, one shouldn't mess around. Right guard, clear jail. Anything less would be uncivilized. Score a cool t-shirt free with purchases of Right Guard. Call now for details. Funny thing about March Madness. As more teams drop out, more friends drop in. Fewer teams, more friends. Good thing Pizza Hut has the March Madness meal deal. Buy any large, regular priced pizza and we'll throw in a dozen free buffalo wings plus a free NCAA tournament guidebook. Because by the time only two teams are left, you're gonna have a lot of friends. The March Madness meal deal. Billy, take a look at the MCI proof positive instant replay. There's that another good dish out. And then the, the soft hands and the ability for Jim Duncan not only to keep it alive, but he always has those hands above his head. Boy, for young players that watch, that ever intend to be good rebounders, he is the kind of guy that exemplifies all the technique you want. Keeps the ball, the hands above his head, moves his feet to get underneath the ball, and then goes straight up underneath it to control. Numbers on parole, 12 points, five rebounds. It's a 10-point lead for the Demon Deacons. At one point in this game, Duke led by 18 points. Well, you got to figure in 20 minutes, there's been a 28-point turnaround. Barks oh. to Meek. And one. He's fouled by Banks. That's a nice move by Duke University. So keep Scooter Banks down underneath the basket. Make him play the bigger of two guys at a position where he's given up the size. Duke has been caught a lot today where they have the bigger man playing out front where Banks has the advantage. Eric Meek with 16 points today. That's six above his average. Trying to add to that. 65-58, Wake. Meek in the two previous games against Wake only scored 13 in both of them. So way above his average. Eight and a half minutes to play. Second quarter, final game of the day. Virginia's already advanced. Here's another turnover by Wake. And Parks gives it back. Duncan taking a much needed rest right now. Randolph turns it over twice. Great hands by Meek, though. He is playing a terrific game for the Blue Devils. Duncan. Oh, 
Cuts the lead to five. And Tim Duncan's on the sidelines, ready to come back in. Wake Forest just wanted to give him a little blow. Kick out to Parole. He's had a hot hand. And there was one where Duncan in the game, he rebounded that one. Who almost back Oh, home. was it ever? I thought his foot <laughs> did hit the line. Well, the ball and the foot had right, to be cross. Right. Exactly. They're going to the Chief. Park short. But how about a valuable player Scooter Banks is? Huh? I mean, you know, the guy doesn't get a lot of the headlines. They have Duncan sitting out for the rest. He just does that workmanlike job. Again, the senior, so knowledgeable, understands his role. Here's Childress. Too hard. Parks with a big rebound. Surprised he took that shot. Five-point lead. But you know, without Duncan in the game, they don't have anybody to hit down in the low post. Blue Devils making a little bit of a run here, trailing by five. Similar to the game last night. Remember, State made the run and got it, got in the lead. You thought maybe Duke would wilt. They did. They came right back in there. I think it's key to go down inside. Keep pounding away with Parks and me. Parks. Boy. Nice drive. He's struggling a little bit, though. He got what he wanted and just couldn't convert it. That was a nice drive, though. Six Wake, and a half to go, Billy. Wake using a lot of clock, like playing their half-court, typical half-court game. Childress has it blocked. Three on two, kick it back. Cape, correction, Langdon. Excellent shooters having a very good basketball game and a good tournament. Down by 10, just a minute and a half ago. They're down by two now. At 15 last night against NC State. Wake Forest really needs to get Duncan back in the game. Eight nothing run, Langdon with 14 points. They just don't have that inside threat for the team that's on the floor. Childress from way outside, nothing but net. He has 33 points. And Ricky Price came down the court and looked over and said, you know, I'm all over this guy, and he hits one like that. It was one of those those nails is right through your forehead when the guy does that to you. Inside the Meek. Pushed off. Offensive. It's time to play fast takes. Identify the player that appeared in the Continental Airlines halftime feature. Call 1-800-836-3ACC. Within 24 hours to enter, your secret code is 77. Parks, go, Parks goes out of the game. He's got to be very tired. As I said, he played 38 minutes last night. Duncan comes back in the game after a couple of minute rest. About the longest that he gets. As I said before, he's the third leading guy in, in terms of minutes played in the ACC this year. Billy, after 27 points in the first half, Randolph Childress has taken only four shots this half. Here he is again. How about five and a foul, so he's going to shoot three. And that's all for Price. Boy, you think all the things that went wrong for Duke on that play. You've got Randolph taking a bad shot. He ends up going to the foul line for three where he's made 29 in a row. You've got Price fouling out of the game. Nations Bank, a corporate partner of the 96 Olympics, presents this Olympic trivia question. Seven U.S. Olympic basketball players have played on an Olympic gold medal team, won championships in college and pros, named the one from the ACC. Now, I do know that one. Price. Mr. Michael, <laughs> Don't baseball give it player. Away. Don't answer it. Baseball player, Mike Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> Do I, I can't win? <laughs> hey, you know, what I'm trying to do is to show that I could get one of them right all year. I mean, we've had track stars and lacrosse players you know, finally you, stay in my league. You know, you talked you about jump this on last me. night. You, want, you wanted the answer last night. We've had nothing but... Backstrokers and lacrosse players, <laughs> and, and now you give me a basketball, I finally get one oh. question right. Nation's Bank ought to send me something. And Childress now with 36 <laughs> points. He's as hot as you are. Randolph's going to get a breather, so he'll be able to come back strong for the finish. 
And you know, you'd almost, if you're Dave Odom, like to keep him out the rest of the way, considering the fact that if you can keep the lead in the uh, six to eight point range, all off the foot of Capel. 71-63 Wake. Here's Rutland. That's for three more. The Deeks start to pull away. They lead by 11. Wake goes into his zone with Childress out of the game. His shot is good by Capel. Oh, and one. Foul on Tony Rutland. Boy, nice move by Right Kate. through the zone to get that shot. And I would say that man deserves a rest over there. Huh? Randolph just sitting back, hoping that he can sit out for a couple of minutes. Here's a shot by Cable. <laughs> I said they might keep him out as long as uh, they can keep the lead six to eight. Dave Oldham let Randolph out for, what would you say, 30 seconds? <laughs> it wasn't long. Matter of fact, I, I think he probably looked down there and, Randolph kind of was sitting back and had a towel over his shoulder, and I think okay, he was saying, hey, wait a second. I'm not going to let him rest. Capel goes to the line. Capel had a career-high 28 against Virginia. He's got 62 threes this year. But just six points today make it seven, and it's 74, 66, Wake Forest. Wallace on, this is going to be interesting now. Wallace the leaper on Childress the thinker. See if he tries to use it. Here's Childress. And three more. And he looks over at Wallace and please send somebody else out here that can guard me, huh? He has 39 points. The record for a quarterfinal game in the ACC is 45. Remember who did that? No, Buzzy Wilkerson. Oh, Come on now, you are the master of trivia. I know you know the answer. Lenny Rosenbluth. Huh? You know who Absolutely. we're talking about? We're into the 50s, guys. <laughs> 1957, right. that's right. 1957. He never saw a shot he didn't like. That's what they tell me about Lenny Rosenbluth. Here's as Bones McKinney roll. used to say, wouldn't pass the ball to his mother. <laughs> But obviously one of the great players of all time in the league and led the University of North Carolina to the national championship in 57. Banks picked up his third. Langdon goes to the line. Langdon, an 80% free throw shooter. And he's got 15 points in this game. You know, it's funny when you look back into the, you know, the 50s and the records from various schools, you see some phenomenal numbers of shots taken by players like Buzzy Wilkerson, University of Virginia. And, uh, See guys taking like 35, 40 shots. There's Wallace again. Randolph lets him have his dribble back, slaps it down. Wallace has not missed a shot in the tournament. Is that right? I don't think so. Three for three last night. Two for two today. Capel. Meek gets it back, takes it strong, and Duncan says, get it out of here. Randolph Childress goes into the crowd. Tim Duncan, the career shot block leader at ACC, and says, out of here. Watch Randolph from long distance. You can see Wallace getting down on him, saying, I'm ready, I'm ready. Pull right over the head. Whoosh. We'll be back. Did you ever wonder what life is like on other planets? Like maybe there's this world where everybody can slam dunk and everyone gets a Ford Ranger just for being... Hey, Flinger, I mean. <laughs> right. now, now, here's how it works. All right, uh, the victim sticks his head... World where do he... I actually encourage Nick to give it up. Convertible is a company car. Ford. Cool cars for a cool planet. You ready? Yep. <laughs> What's this? We're playing on clay. Right back. <laughs> it's mixed doubles. Oh. Outdoor court. Is active wear becoming too specialized for you? Try discus athletic. Heavyweight sweats and tees. Just change your clothes once. To discus athletic. The way America plays. Here on the Outback, we play our own brand of football. 
outback rules. No sidelines. No time limits. No telling which way the boomerang will bounce. Just the ultimate goal. Great steak. Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. Here's a look at the... You'll love this stuff play. Take a look at it, Billy. Well, who would you expect to do this but Cherokee Parks came across the lane. We thought he was going to dunk, or at least I did, and made a beautifully acrobatic, acrobatic shot. The Chief. Winding down the last three minutes of... Oh, Cape. Cape with three more to cut the lead to seven. Three and a half to play. Wallace and Childress. Wallace got to realize there's a screen coming. Oh, nice kick out to LaRue. He answers with a three. Childress, the second half, has played such a smart game, Tim. Instead of still firing out there, he's gotten everybody involved. He's just reversed the way he normally plays. Capel, this will be offensive. And Duncan threw it out of bounds. Capel trying to do it all by himself right now. Wake Forest players starting to feel it now. Smiling and slapping fives. 3-0-1 to play, and it's a 10-point lead. Of course, the last time the ACC tournament was here, Duke was the, uh, the champion. Danny Ferry, MVP, back in 88. All right, here was your answer now. My answer? Michael wow. Jordan baseball player. Well, see, you were wrong, though. You said a baseball I player. Said Michael Schmidt. And he got out of baseball today. That, one was, that one was so easy, it shouldn't have been in the uh, contest. <laughs> now it's Wojo. They're all trying on him. And that'll go in. That'll go in. Yeah, but it doesn't count. Wojo got him before the, uh, the basket. No continuation here. When you're having those kind of days, you throw them up in the air and they go in. Childress with 39 points. Breaks the Wake Forest tournament scoring record that Lenny Chappell had 38. Or with 38, not in 38. Of course, that was back in, what, 62? I don't know if he had the 38 and 62. Is it against uh, Virginia? I don't know. You know, I, I'd love to see a picture of uh, Lenny Chapel and Billy Packer. Oh, look there at this. With Bones. You notice Lenny wasn't listening. That's why I got to play. I listened to my coach. <laughs> Lenny got to play because he was a good player. 14 points a game, huh? You guys went what, to the Final Four? Yes. Lenny Chapel was ahead of his time. He was uh, a guy with a great soft shot from the outside, 6'8", about 250 pounds. He could run and rebound. People used to say, you know, the guy can't do anything but score and rebound. I said, those are two pretty good assets if you're a player. Great All-American. Randolph Childress with 40 points today. Now, is somebody in the lane too quickly? Because Randolph missed that shot that would break his string. He's hit 33 free throws in a row. We'll right. see if there's a line violation. There is. And so that doesn't count. He keeps the streak alive. What this, the Duke players are saying is Randolph faked them out. Oh, justice. 33 free throws in a row before he finally missed one. Got away from Capel. And the game's getting away from Duke. Two and a half to play. The lead is 11. That matches the Demon Deacon's largest lead. Here's Duncan inside. Park blocks him. Tried to do a little bit too much. Good job by the Chief coming over from the weak side. Oh, here's Mink. He's had a strong game. Capel gets it back. He'll fire from beyond the arc. You know, Duncan had two fouls on him, Tim, early in this ball game. Do you realize he's not picked up that third foul yet? I mean, it was really important, I think, for Duke to try to get that third one on him in the first half. They never did. And he's been able to play the entire game without picking up one more foul. Billy, obviously, Duke won't go to the NCAAs now with a loss here today. A minute and a half to go. They're down by 11. First and time in 11 years. And there are a lot of people out there that say, wait a minute, they're still one of the best 64 in the country. No. But that's not the way it's set up. You know that? You've got to have the Mount St. Mary's. You've got to have the conference champions. Well, I don't know about that, but I, I think... Oh, I believe you do. No, no, I, I, 
agree with that, but I'm saying that Duke, under no circumstances, belongs as an at-large team in the NCAA tournament. 14-point lead now with 111 to play. But this will be the first time in 11 years that Duke University will not go to the NCAA tournament. There's Duncan going out. Well-deserved rest on his part. Rutland would go out as well. Duke will take a timeout with 111 to play. 84-70 is our score, and we'll return after these messages from the Atlantic Coast Conference. The Atlantic Coast Conference has a proud tradition of excellence, both on the field and in its communities. Service projects such as ACC Outreach have involved thousands of school children throughout the ACC region, stressing the value of education. The ACC would like to take this opportunity to salute our official corporate partners, Exxon, Continental Airlines, and Discus Athletic. These outstanding companies help keep the ACC active in the lives of America's youth. Don't have tickets to the ACC tournament, but you'd love to go? Do the next best thing, ACC Tournamania at the Corey Convention Center in Greensboro. Presented by Nations Bank and Home Team Sports, it's four fan-filled days of ACC excitement. Contest, games, celebrities, food, and ACC tournament coverage on the big screen. So be a Tournamaniac. ACC Tournamania at Corey Convention Center, March 8th through the 11th. Tickets available at Greensboro Coliseum Box Office, all select a seat locations and at the door. And it's time to look back at our ACC Scholar Athletes from this past season from Florida State University, Kirk Luckman. Kirk, a sophomore from Medford Lakes, New Jersey, has a 2.7 grade point average in undergraduate studies. So congratulations to our ACC Scholar Athlete, Kirk Luckman, from Florida State. Florida State will play a little bit later tonight against the University of Maryland in the late game. Randolph Childress's mother, boy, she's got to be proud of what that young man did today. He took his team and said, guys, get on my back. I'm going to carry you from an 18-point deficit to a one-point lead in the same half. That's Deborah Box. Ten minutes time. His mom, Deborah Box, works for the U.S. State Department. His dad, Reggie, works for the Metro Authority. He ought to be proud of him for a lot of reasons. He's going to graduate on time, matriculate. One minute. Graduate in May. Wake Forest with a little four corners here. Under a minute to play with a 14-point lead. This one's in the books. And Randolph sitting on the bench with Tim Duncan. I wonder how many total minutes for Wake Forest here that Duncan and Childress were on the bench at the same time. It's got to be in a matter of, like, three minutes. <laughs> how about this game, though, Billy? Here's LaRue for three more falls away. Rusty LaRue is a great three-point shooter. Billy Duke led by 18, got off to that quick start, and Randolph went on a tear at 27 in the first half. It's just been an interesting game. Well, you're talking about 35 points different since the 840 mark. Here's the quarterback throwing a pass to Rutland. Under 20 seconds to play. Tony will bring it out. Dave Odom says, bring it out here. That's it. Call off the dogs. Chris Collins is going to foul him anyway. And Dave Odom says, hey, what are you doing fouling with 18 seconds? And Chris says, I'm trying to get these guys in the game here. Cherokee Parks will sit down his final game of his collegiate career. And Dave Odom goes over to apologize to Chris for getting on him about calling it or making committing that foul. Chris says, hey, I was just trying to get these guys in the ball game. Oh, just a misunderstanding. Dave, class guy. That's the staff of Duke University. And once he understood what the reason was. So Rutland goes to the line. Wake Forest today, 16 of 27 from three-point range. ACC record is 18. And that should do it. The last six seconds. Duke turns it over with 1.8. Well, I think the game plan there was to try to get the ball over to one of the two three-point shooters, but uh, down 17, that doesn't make much sense. Billy, that'll be a pretty good matchup tomorrow. Virginia and Wake Forest. Excellent matchup. 87-70 to 70 is the final. The number one seed moves on. It wasn't easy. Randolph Childress was spectacular. Randolph Childress... 40 points, breaks the Wake Forest tournament scoring record. Lenny Chappell had 38 in the game. 
But I mean to tell you, that first half, folks, by Randolph Childress is as good as you'll see by anybody. Best first half I've ever seen, under the, particularly under the circumstances of anybody I've ever seen in the uh, ACC tournament. Terrific. 40 points, 9 assists, obviously enjoys the game and enjoys what he did here today. So we know that Virginia moves on with a win over Georgia Tech. And Wake Forest moves on with a win over Duke. And those two clubs will play tomorrow in the semifinals. We'll be back with more right after this. Introducing Continental Airlines Bake Sale. With great low fares to sunny destinations throughout the Caribbean, Mexico, and Florida. And with grand destinations, you can get a complete vacation package for one low price. So, thawing out has never been easier. East of the Texas Hill Country in Austin, there's a place that just won't let you go home hungry. It's called Threat Guilds. And here you might find yourself behind a great big chicken fried steak, a mountain of red beans and rice, or even a microphone. So if you go, bring your appetite for a good time and your Visa card. Because Threat Guilds might let you take the stage, but they won't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. There are a lot of reasons we created Ford Windstar with more passenger and cargo room than any leading minivan. A lot of reasons we gave Windstar the widest stance for secure handling. And reasons we gave it over 40 standard safety features. And even went so far as to include 24-hour roadside assistance. We'd be glad to name all the reasons, but you've already named them. Ford Windstar. Created for the most important people in the world. Deep in the North Carolina pine, you'll find a place famous for PhDs and MVPs. Best known as the Research Triangle, the Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill area, it could also be known as a major financial center because it's served by Nations Bank, which means SAS Institute can have the latest in cash management. The Rogers can stay years ahead of their retirement investments, and everyone can have something to cheer about in the Research Triangle and in 1,900 other communities throughout our nation. ACC Action has been brought to you by Nations Bank, by MCI, by Pizza Hut, by Food Lion, and by Ford. Thank you. Randolph Childress, a 40-point performance, including eight three-pointers. That's a new ACC record for a single game in the tournament as Wake Forest comes from 18 points down to win it by 17, 87 to 70. Hello again, everybody. Paul Cameron and head coach Dave Odom. Dave, uh, what, at the timeout at 8.33, you really got your team fired up and they get right back in it and Randolph really seemed to carry them. Well, uh, you know, 40 points for him, uh, you know, is terrific, but I think the leadership that he showed is even more... Uh, uh, typical of what he's done for us mm -hmm. for four years. Uh, you know, the timeout was important. It's not what I said, it's how they felt about themselves. They were embarrassed. Uh, we felt like we were playing very, very soft. Duke really took it to us, to their credit, on both ends of the uh, court, uh, particularly on the offensive end, and, uh, and I think our players were just embarrassed, and they wanted to turn it around. I, I, I did not believe that they would be able to turn it around as quickly as they did. I was hoping we could half the 18 by the time we got to, uh, you know, was get it into single digits by the time we got to half. I had no idea we'd be able to get the lead. Were you uh, as impressed as everybody else in the crowd was with what Randolph was doing out there? Uh, never ceases to amaze me. Uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful basketball player. Uh, just absolutely the, uh, the, the the greatest competitor that I've ever been around. Uh, never say die. Always can get the job done and certainly an inspiration to his team. As Billy pointed out, he really kind of turned his game around and got most of his points in the first half instead of the second half today. Kind of let everybody else share the scoring role. Ricard uh, Ricardo Peral, Ricky, really did a good job, I thought, in the opening uh, moments of the second half. Well, uh, yes, he did. Uh, he, uh, I thought Timmy Duncan was a little bit soft. He, he wasn't getting... Uh, Eric Meek took, I, I thought, uh, really the... Uh, the defense to him, uh, he was very physical with him. Timmy wasn't really good at, at that today. Uh, Ricardo did step up, he hit some open shots. Uh, 
Randolph just felt like, well, you know, I usually wait for everybody to get themselves in it. They're not going to do it today, so I've got to get it done myself. You guys were pretty loose yesterday. We saw you in a uh, shooting contest. You got involved with the guys out there playing a little horse as well. Uh, I guess that looseness kind of helps when you play a team like Duke because you had to figure Duke was going to come out of the gate with a real, uh, real, real strong attitude. We, we've got a world of respect for Duke. Uh, you know, the difference between Duke University and Wake Forest University in 1995 simply is a series of close losses for them and a lot of close wins for That's us. Right. It, it easily could have been the other way, and I don't think anything uh, describes or, or, or that you can better describe the closeness of this league than, than the first seed, Wake Forest, and the ninth seed, Duke. I mean, they, they really are very, very, very close. Well, now you get a team that you tied with, Virginia, tomorrow in the semifinals, and, of course, you won by three uh, in their last outing, uh, swept them. That's That's got to be tough to win the third time. Well, uh, you know, uh, every time we play uh, Virginia, it's going to be a very hard-fought game. Harold Dean looks more like Randolph Childers every time I see him play. <laughs> that scares me to death. <laughs> Junior Burrow's playing at his very best basketball oh, yeah. of the entire uh, of his entire career, as he should. He's a senior, and, you know, this is when you want to be playing your best. I think Jose Jason Williford is very, very underrated right now and uh, certainly playing very well right now. Curtis Staples, we know, can hit shots, and, you know, it's going to be a good basketball game. I think our team will be more ready to, to play than they were today. I hope Virginia's not, because I thought they were really primed and ready to, to uh, to play great basketball here at the ACC tournament. Congratulations with a big opening round win today. Thanks, Coach Paul, Dave Odom and the Wake Forest Demon Beacons as this team uh, gets the win. We'll meet Virginia tomorrow. We'll be back to talk with today's star Randolph Childers. He of 40 points after this from Bud Light. Next is Lady. Exceptional sheen. Oh, very good color. Friends. Hands. Oh, such mm. stateliness, such majesty. Larry! Larry! For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. The best of show? More! at t this is Emily. Emily, listen, my friend Doug told me something that shocked me. Uh -huh. He said that he saves on calls to anybody. That's at t True Savings. Anybody? Anybody in the U.S. Because I'm not making any circles. No circles. And I'm not ratting out my friend. <laughs> no circles. Just sign up, make $10 in calls a month, and we'll subtract 25% off your at t bill. Ow! <laughs> it's true. I want it. at t True Savings. Save 25% to anybody, anytime, anywhere. Your true voice. And we are back in Greensboro on the postgame show. The second game of the quarterfinals goes to Wake Forest. And here's the man of the hour. A 40-point performance for Randolph Childress, the senior guard. Hey, big fella. Unbelievable performance. You guys are down 18 points at 833 in the first half. All right, Dave Odom said, don't ask me what I told you, these guys on the sideline. But what did he say? What did he do to fire you guys up? Actually, it, is, it wasn't much he had to do. Uh, he, we came to the sideline in 31-13, and we, I was embarrassed about it. You know, I told the guys about it. It didn't make any sense. Uh, if we had lost this game and, and gave it a, a good effort, then I wouldn't. Have, you couldn't, I couldn't argue about it. But if we didn't come out, we played very flat. Uh, we're the best uh, field goal percentage defensive team in this conference, and we definitely weren't playing like that the first half. And uh, I was just surprised. I knew we would cut into the lead, but I was just surprised we cut into it and were, and were able to take a one-point lead in the half. At that point, I thought we, were able to, we, we would be able to take control of the game in the second half. Last guy to score 40 points in a tournament game was Charlie Scott back in 1969. You really did something today. Does that feel good? It feels good, but most importantly, it feels good just to win. Uh, I didn't come out trying to set my eyes on scoring 40 tonight. It just happened that way. Uh, the way the team was playing it, we needed a spark, and I was definitely wanted to be the, uh, the one to give it to us, and I just wasn't going to sit back and allow that to happen. I would have fouled out or did anything before I let us uh, <laughs> continue to play like we did and, the first half. And you really did a lot of different things. As we saw you in your last game at uh, Wake Forest last Saturday, you were getting some boards, you were doing the assists, uh, giving up your body when it needed to be given up. Well, that's part of the game. I, I, I'm not just a scorer. I do a lot of different things for this team, and uh, my, miss my shooting and scoring just overlooks that at times, but I do a lot of different things for this basketball team, and uh, I will continue to do them. My, my philosophy has always been I just do whatever it takes for us to win, and, and this game was no different. I always do whatever it takes for my team to win wherever I'm playing. You know, one of the guys in the crowd was Isaiah Thomas, your uh, idol, and I know at the uh, Chapel Hill <laughs> game, you sent a, a sheet of paper up to him to get signed, and he sent, what, an airline ticket back? He sent an airline ticket back. <laughs> sent an airline ticket back to you as a signature. You went after an autograph. 
draft after you the start of the game. Well, did you see him over here? I, I didn't get a chance to see him. I saw him there early on, but I didn't get a chance to talk to him. I just wanted to tell him that, like I said, he was my idol, and I, I, I enjoyed watching him. And uh, I, I wanted to tell him how I look forward to playing against him in the Goodwill Games last summer, but I was injured, and so was he. And That's right. of us could participate in it. But at that point, that was going to be the biggest event in my career, just to meet him and be able to talk to him and, and play a little one-on-one -on -one with him or something. But it didn't work out, but hopefully one day down the road, I'll just be able to sit down and talk to him. I, I respect him as a man also. I, oh, yes, indeed. Isaiah now in the front office of the Toronto, the NBA. And you had some NBA-type uh, plays that today including a couple of NBA range three-pointers but here you go you get the defense and you're able to take it straight in at the big wood meek right there and they kind of played off you I was coming in the lane looking actually uh, to draw someone and see how they were gonna play me and if they helped I was gonna pass it. and if they didn't I was gonna shoot the ball so uh, that's what I did price laid back this time fearing your drive and you just stuck it in his face well price have respected me all game but we're backing off me a little bit i think i tried to attack him early on so when he backed off i just wanted to take the three when i was there take a look randall this is what the hoop sees here <laughs> <laughs> you see how far back you were from the stripe <laughs> amazing and when randolph is wheeling and dealing uh, it's one of those days where just good things seem to happen. Everything just seems to go very well. All right, you got Virginia tomorrow in the semifinals. Now, here's a team that uh, Harold Dean sticks his chest in yours. They're going to play in your shirt tomorrow. Oh, they definitely will. I think each team does that. Uh, Virginia is definitely a very physical team. We're two similar teams. Uh, we won both games during the regular season, but that has no bearing on what, uh, what's going to take place out here tomorrow. But uh, we're ready, and they're ready. So it'll be a great basketball game, and, and may the best team win. May the best team win. Well, the best guy did it today, 40 points. Congratulations. Just a superhuman effort. Thanks 40 so. points, 8 three-pointers. That is a new ACC tournament record. Randolph Childress and the Wake Forest Demon Deacons get a 17-point win in the second game of the quarterfinals. We'll be back to Greensboro with more after this. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. You're the defending ladies pool champion? Yes, I am. Smack dab in the middle of Tennessee, the city that strikes a chord in people the world over. But the flip side of Nashville is that it's also a major financial center because it's served by Nations Bank. Enabling Opryland USA to work in concert with the nation's largest treasury management group, giving the Williams smarter ways to pay for college, and providing the kind of performance that satisfies even the toughest customers in Nashville and in 1,900 other communities throughout our nation. Our final in the second game of the quarterfinals here on Friday. Wake Forest Demon Deacons, the top seeds, get a little scare as they come from 18 points back to knock off Duke 87 to 70. Let's show you the bracket so far in this ACC tournament for 1995. The early game, as we have talked about, Junior Burrow with a 36-point effort, his career best, to propel Virginia into tomorrow's first semifinal, which starts at 1.30. Our coverage begins at 1 o'clock here on the ACC Television Network. Now, we're still to come, the nightcap session with Clemson and North Carolina. Carolina. That's the number two seeded Tar Heels and number seven Clemson Tigers, followed by Florida State and Maryland in the nightcap. FSU and the Maryland Terps, of course, without Gary Williams, who's still under the weather. And uh, we wish the best for Gary. Gary Billy Hahn will, of course, be the assistant coach in charge. And here's my buddy. <laughs> Let me show you some scores from the SEC Kentucky leading uh, UConn in the second half by 10 over Pitt. Also, Tulane in the Metro Conference. That's over in Louisville uh, on top of South Florida, 57-39. And Missouri, 1911, leading Iowa State. That is uh, not a final, obviously. Could not be a final, right? Tim Brandt couldn't be a final. Thank you, Tim. Tim uh, just passed me a dog there. That's why we were laughing. And, yeah, but uh, you got bad fingers. hands. I got mustard down my front there. <laughs> Thanks. Well, Billy Packer's already left. He's halfway to the airport. He's got to go to the <laughs> next game. But, folks, that was fun. Down by 18. Duke was leading and off to that quick start, and then Randolph just put on that show, and it was an interesting interview. Nicely job, nice job with that. Uh, Thanks. I think uh, interview. the key thing there is embarrassment. I think that's exactly what Dave Odom got out of his club. He got those guys feeling that they were better than this. They knew Duke was going to come out of the gate strong as Duke did last night. Duke uh, went up on NC State 11 nothing last night, eight nothing in this one. Suddenly they find themselves down 18 points. They've got the reach from within, and there within sits the heart of Randolph Childress. Dave played down that timeout with. 8.33 to go, but that timeout was huge. Just turned the whole game around, and as uh, Randolph said, he came out, and 
I think he ignited everybody. No question about that. I know he ignited more than 23,000 here in the <laughs> Greensboro Coliseum. Take a look at this, the uh, statistics, and we can tell you exactly what happened here in the first half because between Childress and Duncan, those two combined for 83% of the points in the first half. And then in the second half, those two had only 41% as they started to distribute, and everybody else got into the game plan. But right. what was interesting here, Paul, also is the fact that Parks had only four points in the second half, nine boards for the game, 10 points for the entire game. So he, he was well below his average. His game kind of went away in the second half.